Hello, today in this video, I'm going to use my mini microscope. So, in this experiment, you can see I have here two different stamens of two flowers. This one is from a lily, uh, crinum lily, and this one is from Mirabilis jalapa. So, this one is a monocot stamen, and this one from a dicot flower. Today, I am going to observe the pollen grains of these two stamens, one of the monocot stamen and second of the dicot stamen under the microscope and compare their appearances and structure. So let's start with the dicot one first. So I have, I'll prepare a slide. I'll just burst open this anther to expose the pollens. Let's see if the pollens... Yeah, so I have, you can see, some pollens on the cover slip. So here you can see the green large pollen grain of Mirabilis dicot flower. Notice some spots, very light spots all over the sphere. These can be identified as the germ pores on the hard covering of the pollen grain. So we can see here the round structure of these dicot pollen grains. The slight projection you can see on the upper left end of the pollen grain it is basically an outgrowth of the exine, the outer layer of the pollen grain. Again you can see this around pollen grain. Now here the germ pores, the dots, black dots are more prominent you may see. And here is yet another pollen grain. It also has some projections of the outer layer. So I have shared some pollen grains on this slide. Now if you can see on the top corner, two pollen grains are there. Now you can see they are not at all round to bean shaped pollen grains now don't they just appear like a coffee bean but obviously not colored so these two colorless pollen grains you can see resembling a coffee bean having a small slit between the pollen grain so this is known as a sulcus that is why such pollen grains are known as monosulcate monosulcate pollen grains and I think this is a characteristic feature of monocot pollen grains. So you can see that they are elongated and have a sulcus between them. So I think basically they are folded from the center that is why they appear sulcated. You can see some more pollen grains they are exactly the same as the earlier ones. One pollen grain you can see on the top I think this is much clearer. So we have seen both the dicot and monocot pollen grains and we have compared the two, the shape of the two pollen grains that the dicot seeds are round and the monocot seeds have a very specific shape resembling a coffee bean much different from a dicot pollen. So we can conclude that as in other morphological features of monocot and dicot plants the pollen grains also differ in the two so thank you for watching this video and do not forget to like subscribe and share